Welcome back to another episode of Zach the Fishman. Today, we've got a goal, 44 inches. There's supposed to be two fours here. 44, that's the goal for today. Looking for some big fish, but first we gotta switch something out. I'm throwing on my 10 inch flight because I don't wanna risk it catching a big fish with an eight inch flight. Two years ago, my auger blades were bad on that thing. So I bought an eight inch flight because I wanted to walleye fish more and I have been walleye fishing a lot more, which is uh, always fun, always good. Sometimes you just, you just gotta go have a great fight of a pike, you know? So let's get this thing all switched out. I replaced the blades. They're sharp. I cut myself open really easily. I literally just dropped it and it literally just cut me open. Not that I have anything against my eight inch flight. I like that I bought it, but let's get it. Let's take this thing apart. Super easy. There we go. There we go. Stick that bad boy in there. Lock her up. Auger's good to go. Let's go get our first hole of the day. Awesome. That hole is so much bigger than eight inches. It's kind of crazy. Today, we're fishing with the finicky fooler once again. It's one of my favorite tip-ups. I like that I can have a rod and, I like fighting a fish with a rod and reel rather than hand over hand. And these things are super easy to set up. Take the flag out, you stick it in that little hole right there. You have your rod holder. You put it there. Oh, make sure you put it the right way. And you're fishing, you're ready to go already. Super simple, super effective tip up as well, which I love. Let's get this set up. And the rod that I'm using is a heavy rod. I know that may seem a little excessive. It's a 42 inch Omen by 13 fish. I picked this rod up for lake trout fishing. I ended up using it for pike last year. And I really like the action of it. Even when I was catching smaller pike, it still had a nice backbone. Didn't feel like I was just torquing them in. You know what I mean? Like, I really enjoyed this rod. So we'll give her, it's one of my favorite pike rods. Never thought that was gonna be a thing when I went and bought a lake trout rod, but it is. One, two, three. I'm not fishing with any technology today. None whatsoever. Cause you don't need to when you're tip up fishing. It's a simple way of fishing. And the way you set this finicky fooler up is you open up your bale. I try and have the reel so it's facing that way when I open it. So the line falls out right there. You take this bar right here, you flip it down, you take your flag and it has a little snap. And you just bend that over and you flick it right on that bar and depending on how strong you want your tension to be, you can put it forward, you can put it back. I throw it all the way back for the pike. The pike will just take it, but maybe for walleye you want to do something a little different. I don't know. I'm going to move my truck so it's facing this way. I'm going to set another tip up up over there. But We're fishing. We're waiting on a pike. Hopefully something comes and eats. Oh, there's a fish on there already. Did you see that? That's insane, man. First fish of the day. It might be a good day. I didn't even have to leave the hole. Oh, okay, <laughs> it's gonna be a good day. And I get to keep my bait. That is not a bad pike. Not a bad pike at all. There we go. Healthy fish. Beautiful colors on that fish thing. That's, it's gonna be a good day. Let's get this fish back. <sighs> wow, that's a good sign. That's how the finicky fooler works. Wow, crazy stuff there, man. 
reset it. Well, maybe I should walk away so I can go do what I said I was going to do, move the truck and get the other tip up in. Okay, she's gonna be a good day. So this rod that I have here is by Frostbite. It is a medium heavy, I actually bought it for Pike. Um, the Deadbolt. It is a fiberglass rod, and to be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of it for Pike. It literally keels over, last time when I caught that, 38 and a half inch pike it literally keeled over there's a fish on here right now oh my gosh like i thought it was gonna snap in half that was just a 38 inch pike a medium heavy rod should be able to handle that right at least in my opinion and it did handle it but it just doubled down once again, bail on this side, you open it up, have it come down like that. That is the best way to have your thing set up, in my opinion. You do you, but having that line oh, on, having it on this side open is the much better option for me. But this reel seems to always wanna do that. So, let's wait for the flag. I might drill up a uh, live well. I'm gonna drill five holes side by side by side, side by side, but not go all the way through. Okay. Making a live well. Let's get all this snow out of here. Make sure if you make a live well, you mark it after you're done with it. So people don't step in it or drive over it, get their truck wheel stuck in it. There we go, we got our live well, we got our bump board, and we just need water for our live well. Which, easy enough. We just drill a hole all the way through. Live well is made. Now we just wait for the flags. We got the thing. Let's wait for the next fish. This is so if we catch a fish that we want to measure, we can keep it wet, prevent it from freezing, easier hook removal, yada yada. So now one of those got to go off. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I got a fish on, this rod was down the hole. It was down the hole. I almost lost this rod. I almost lost this thing, oh my. I looked over, the tip up was in the hole. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Oh my gosh. I almost lost my rod. I almost lost my rod. This is a big fish. This is a big fish. 
Yeah, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. That one's in the back of the throat. Let's get him in the live well. Let's get this fish in the live well. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Okay. There we go. Hooks out. Fish in the hole. That is a nice fish right there. Let's go grab the camera. Let's get this fish measured out. That's a nice fish. She's lively. Oh my gosh. What a fish. There we go. This is touching. 42 and a quarter. There we go. Beautiful fish. 42 and a quarter. What a fish. Let's get this girl back. Let's go. What a beautiful creature. There we go. Just gonna go back. Oh my gosh. Oh. I am frozen. My sleeves are soaked. I almost lost my rod, but we caught. We caught a toad. We caught a freaking toad. Let's go get that tip up set up. Oh my gosh. That took a while. The fishing has been slow, but we caught a nice fish. Let's go get set up. Let's go grab some bait. Let's get this rod back in the water. Hopefully we don't lose, almost lose a rod again. That was on the jumbo smelt. There has to be some bigger fish around here. But this is just day one. I'm spending three days out here. Hopefully catching more quality fish like that last one. Oh, what a what a fish. What a specimen, if you will. Here we go. Hey, we got another flag. Got another flag. Here we go. There we go. Fish on. Reel's a little frozen. Fish does not feel nice. Oh, I was trying to throw the drone up, but I broke a wing. Right, right. Not huge, but he's decent. But he's decent. Oh gosh. Try and just get this out. That is not a bad fish either. Ah, skinny. Very, 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 very skinny. Let's get him to the live well. Let's get him to the live well. It's a skinny fish. We're catching some quality fish here. It's a good sign. It's a very, very, very good sign. We'll get a quick measurement and send her on our way. My guess, 37. 37 inches. There we go. Nose is touching. Oh my God, 37 and a half. Yeah, 37 and a half inches. Oh. Nice fish. Nice healthy pike. Let's get her back. Let's go. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I was trying to get my drone going, but I broke my wing last time I flew it because I crashed it. And then yeah, it lost balance. It, it took a pretty good fall. But now, Let's get some drone footage.
I lost a drone today. It is in the tree. I'm gonna try and zoom in into it. It's at the very tippy top. Right there. Hey, like and subscribe so I can get a new drone. Even though there's no drone footage in this. There's no way I'm getting that down. Unless I cut down the tree, but I feel like that's illegal. So, yeah. I'm gonna quit the beeping. And, uh, cry a little. Here we go, we got a flag on this tip up this time. We haven't had too much action over here. Fed action over there. Oh yeah, she's on there, she's on there. She's on there, she's on there. No, not on there. <sighs> Unfortunate. Okay, let's go off there, buddy guy. Come and eat. Hopefully we don't get another false flag. Oh god, we got a flag. We got a flag. Remain calm. Remain calm. Remain calm. Are you on there, man? You still on there? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. Doesn't feel very big. Doesn't feel very big. Just a scrappy little guy. Just a scrappy little guy. Maybe I'm wrong. Just a scrappy little guy. Nothing, yeah. Scrappy little guy. Scrappy do. Short and fat. But hey, that's a fish. I was on the little bait. I gotta get the pliers. Yeah, he's, he's little. Just a little lad, but fat and healthy. I don't mind catching all different sizes of year classes, you know what I mean? Send this fish back. <laughs> there we go. Just a scrappy little guy. <sighs> fish is a fish is a fish. I still like catching them, regardless of their size. Am I sure that was the last XL? Did I buy two packs? Was there two packs? I can't exactly remember. Huh? Regular, small. Oh, I grabbed these just because they had yellow fins. Like, let's compare. So I bought these two different packs. Look at the fins on those. They look like two different smelts, right? I don't even know if those are smelts. But, yeah, I'm gonna grab that big boy right there. Okay, now we just wait for another flag to go off. It just dawned on me that that 42 and a quarter inch pike 
It's a new personal best through the ice. I, I don't really consider open water season and ice season to be like two different categories of personal bests. I don't know, I, I just think that's silly. I caught a 43 and yes, it was long and skinny in the summer, but if I caught that pike in the winter, it would be long and fat, which is the only difference. It just weighs more in the winter. Um, but for me personally, I think if I catch a 43 fish, if I catch a 43 inch fish in the summer, and if I catch a 43 inch fish in the winter, it doesn't matter. 43 is my personal best. Regardless of size. That flag over there needs to stop false flagging. And that flag right there needs to just go off. I got the big bait on there, but it's all torn up. It's, it's not a very confidence given bait. You know what I mean? It's not anything crazy, but we're going to wait out this afternoon. There's still a little bit of light. As you can see, it's not, it's not shining and bright, but it's bright still. So hopefully we get a few more flags, no more false flags. Hopefully we get another fish for the fish. Well, well guys, that is my day. This is just day one. I'm gonna be out here bright and early tomorrow morning, trying to hammer some big northern pike. The afternoon was a little slow, unfortunately, but it is what it is that's fishing. A couple false flags. Tomorrow I'm feeling another good day for some nice fish. So, you know what to do. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, don't forget, Take care of your mental health.